Hello, welcome to another episode on Nepo TV. My name is Agbaje Onome. It's a great pleasure to have us once again on this platform. And um, thank you for all the comments. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following us on our Facebook page at Nebo Telly. All right, today we're going to talk about what is going on in Edo State and Governor Gordon Obaseki. Governor Gordon Obaseki has said that Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God assured him that all would be well, that he would be re-elected as Governor of Edo State. Governor Godwin Obaseki on Friday night, 11th of December, during the testimony session at the Yes ROCCG Holy Ghost Congress, held at the Church International Headquarters along Lagos Ibadan Expressway, said that he visited the General Overseer of the Redeemed Church, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, during his second term election. He said when it looked impossible and when men rose, God came out to say that he is God and only him has the power. Obaseki also said after explaining his political challenges, Adeboye told him that it would be way and he should not be afraid for he will overcome and win. The governor said he went back to meet the pastor shortly before the September 19 gubernatorial election and Adeboye prayed for him. Obaseki further encouraged the physical and virtual congregation that with God all things are possible. He urged them to hold on to God in the face of life challenges. As we all know, Obaseki was denied party ticket in the All Progressive Congress, which made him the camp to the People's Democratic Party, where he got the tickets to contest for governorship for the second time. And this caused a lot of crisis in the All Progressive Congress, as well as the PDP, the People's Democratic Party. But at the end, he emerged winner in the Edo State gubernatorial elections. Well, we're moving forward to the next news for today, so don't go off, stay with us. As the All Progressive Congress APC in Edo State and its candidate, Pastor Saige Izeyamo, are engaged in a legal battle to unseat the People's Democratic Party candidate, Governor Gordon Obaseki, at the Federal High Court in Abuja through the case of certificate forgery, the recent dissolution and subsequent inauguration of Call David Imose as the Ketika Committee Chairman in the state is causing political crisis as the factional chairman of the APC, Aslem Ochezua, threatens to enter the party via a mass defection to PDP. Although APC in the state has had to battle internal crisis, the emerging upset in the party is the fallout of the recent reforms initiated by the party at the national level which saw the dissolution of the party organs nationally. The dissolution and inauguration of the new party leadership in Edo, like other states, was the outcome of the 9th National Executive Committee of the APC, which on December 8 approved the dissolution of its organs from the polling unit level to National Working Committee. The move is part of APC's bid to consolidate ahead of 2023. The move is part of APC's bid to consolidate ahead of 2023. In Edo State, however, the dissolution opened a fresh view of Oshomole or Jesua political scheming in the APC. Expectedly, the coming of Carl David Imose as the chairman of the Ketika of Party in Edo State, a loyalist of former national chairman of APC, Comrade Adams Ali Oshomole, raised prospects of a different party. For those in the camp, the emergence of Cole Imose has finally put paid to the allegation that Ojezua all along was planted to disintegrate and unsettle the party in Edo State. Prior to the Edo State elections, Obaseki defected from APC to PDP, but Ojezua, who fought alongside the governor against Oshomole, remained in the APC. While Ojezua held fast to his mandate as the party chairman, Oshomole camp constituted its own party leadership in the state. The emergence of Imose as the caretaker chairman of the APC now against Aslem Ojezua sparked fresh upsets. 
be that he fought with Obaseki against Oshomole, or just was chairmanship of the party was viewed as a continuation of Governor Gordon Obaseki's control of the party and was accused of working against APC and its governorship candidate, Pastor Saike Izeyamo, during the election. Although Ochezwa kicked against the dissolution of the state executive and accused the national leadership of the party of negligence. At this point, there were speculations if whether he would defect to PDP or remain in APC. When discussing on this matter, Ochezwa gave hints on his next move, saying that politics is always about choice. Days after, Ojeswa made real his earlier threat when he announced his defection to the PDP with over 150,000 APC members. He cited loss of confidence in the national leadership of the party and alleged disobedience to the party constitution. Before I continue, having seen and heard the crisis rocking the All Progressive Congress and with this threat made by the former chairman Ketika Committee, what do we think will be of APC in the nearest future? Please drop a comment on the comment section below. A resolution was reached at an enlarged meeting of the State Executive Council of APC committee members and the chairman of all the local government area chapters of the party and the state leaders of the party in Edo State held on Wednesday in Benin City. The resolution, which was signed by 22 members of the executive of the party, led by Mr. Asla Majeswa and chairman of the party across the 18 local government areas of Edo State said over 150,000 supporters of their supporters have concluded plans to defect with them to PDP. It was gathered that the decision of Ojezwa to dump the APC was set to reach after a series of meetings held in Benin. But the Imose-led Ketika Committee Chairman had expressed satisfaction with Ojezwa's decision to leave the party and noted that Ojezwa and his cohorts had been the moles and backbiters destroying the party. Now, could this be that Imose's assumption of the top position in APC state leadership could mean that Oshumole has returned as a main stakeholder in the affairs of the party, being that Imose is an ally of Oshumole? But while the APC is struggling to adjust to the new scenario in the state, there are flashes of upset in the ruling party in the state PDP. The allegation that Governor Obaseki has perfected plans to conduct a fresh congress in PDP is said to be causing crisis in the party. According to a source, Obaseki's decision is to bring in his trusted allies who decamped with him from the APC to occupy key positions should the Obi Congress be conducted. However, the old PDP members are saying that they have kicked against such plans and warned that attempts to change party status quo will spark fresh crisis in the party. Some PDP members in the state already had instituted a court action at an Abuja High Court against the planned dissolution of the party structure in the state. But as the speculation continued to gain ground in the state PDP, a former chief whip of the Senate and a PDP leader from the state, Sir Roland Owe, dispelled the rumors that Governor Obasaki was plotting to take over the structure of the PDP for his selfish interest. Defending Obasaki, Owe stated that the rumor was being paddled by a section of the opposition APC who defected with Obasaki to the PDP for their selfish interest. He further said the political climb in the state is set to experience intrigues that will in turn set the course for a new political dispensation ahead of 2023. All right, we're going to end today's episode on the note to come back with more news on Nebo TV. Stay tuned. Don't go off. My name remains Agbaje Onome. Stay safe. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.